carries him to the sports hall. Side Sideline Stories, our weekly podcast that brings you the most up-to-date game analysis and news from the latest sports action. Subscribe to Sideline Story on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you listen to your podcast. Want to learn about world affairs in a more laid-back and accessible manner? Join insiders, experts, and analysts in the casual setting of the chat lounge to share their personal experiences and opinions on major events and hot issues. Subscribe to Chat Lounge for free on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. The Chinese People's Liberation Army has carried out military drills in the waters and airspace to the north and southwest of Taiwan Island. Officials say the move aims to send a strong warning to forces supporting so-called Taiwan independence. A spokesperson for the armed forces says the patrols and exercises are meant to improve the coordination of military vessels and airplanes and their ability to seize control of air and sea spaces. Chinese authorities have strongly condemned a move by the Taiwan region's Democratic Progressive Party to further collude with the United States. An official of the Taiwan Work Office of the Communist Party of China Central Committee made the remarks in response to Taiwan leader Lai ching stopover in the United States. The statement said Lai's move was a shameless effort to cling to U.S. support to seek Taiwan independence. It also reiterated China's determination to defend its sovereignty and territorial integrity saying that China is willing to create room for peaceful reunification, but will not leave any room for Taiwan independence secessionist activities. China's Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Emergency Management will pre-allocate 1 billion yuan, or about 137 billion U.S. dollars, to provide relief to people severely affected by recent floods. The funds will be mainly allocated to the five provincial-level regions of Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei, Heilongjiang, and Jilin. The central government has earmarked nearly 9.7 billion yuan for flood control and relief since the beginning of this year's flood season. Authorities say the Maui wildfires in the U.S. state of Hawaii have left at least 114 people dead. Hawaii Governor Josh Green says rescuers have completed searching more than 60% of the disaster area. We have secured over 2,000 housing units on Maui to shelter those displaced by the fire and we are working with the American Red Cross to provide housing to all the survivors as long as it's necessary. The scope of the devastation on Maui is difficult to express in words. More than 2,200 buildings have been destroyed, and another 500 have been damaged at an estimated cost of nearly $6 billion. Deadly wildfires have scorched much of the historic town of Lahaina. It's home to around 13,000 residents. With at least 1,000 people still unaccounted for, Recovery teams are racing against time to recover as much ground as possible before heavy rains are slated to move in next week. Wildfires continue to rage in Canada. Thousands of residents in Yellowknife, capital of the Northwest Territories, are fleeing for safety. Local media reports that forecast rain may not be enough to quell the flames. And wildfires are likely to reach the outskirts of Yellowknife on Saturday. Meanwhile, the province of British Columbia is also facing severe wildfire conditions and has declared a state of emergency. Mexico and the U.S. state of California are preparing for the arrival of Hurricane Hillary. The powerful storm is expected to bring strong winds and rains to Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. Authorities have asked people to prepare and have warned of the risk of secondary disasters such as falling trees. Frank Contreras has more from Mexico City. Hurricane Hillary had sustained winds of nearly 230 kilometers per hour. It's expected to strike Mexico's Baja California Peninsula by Saturday night. On Sunday, Hurricane Hillary is expected to weaken and arrive as a powerful tropical storm. 
and strike the southern part of the U.S. state of California. The U.S. National Weather Service says no tropical storm has made landfall in Southern California in 84 years. The Mexican government extended its hurricane watch for parts of Baja California and also issued a tropical storm warning for mainland Mexico. President Andres Manuel López Obrador has deployed Mexican soldiers in case of widespread storm damage. The United Nations says a spike in conflict and displacement in the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo is pushing children into the worst cholera crisis over the past six years. According to the UNICEF, there are over 31,000 suspected or confirmed cholera cases and 230 deaths across the country so far this year. Many of them are children. There are more than 6.3 million displaced people across the DRC. The displacement camps are generally overcrowded, making them ripe for cholera transmission. And that's the news. I'm Wendy. Tired of searching for the right audio in an ocean of podcasts? Tune in to Pod Plus, where we offer you a collection of podcasts that lead you to a wealth of Chinese culture and way of thinking. Located some 100 kilometers east of the oasis town of Dunhuang and the Mogao Caves, there is another Buddhist cave complex that also experienced thousands of years of wind and sand. Compared with the world-renowned Mogao crosses, its cave construction is relatively small in scale. But the murals are better preserved and also of high artistic value. Hello, and welcome to this new episode of the Why We Love Dunhuang podcast. After touring around Britain and France, seeing some of the most amazing Dunhuang relics, our Dunhuang podcast series is almost coming to an end. But before wrapping up, here are some bonuses. To reward our listeners' enthusiasm towards Dunhuang and this podcast, we will take you to visit another place that also belongs to the Dunhuang art complex. Yeah, let's return to China and visit a twin site of the Magao Caves. Before we set off, do remember to give us a five-star rating or a review and share this one and only Dunhuang podcast series with your friends. The Yunlin Grottoes also named the 10,000 Buddha Valley, is another place in Western China for exploring Buddhist culture and fabulous art. It is also a branch of the Dunhuang Cave Complex hidden in the desert. Overall, the scale of the Yulin Caves is much smaller than the Magao Caves. There are 43 caves remaining on the site, scattered on both sides of the cliffs, with more than 5,000 square meters of murals about one-ninth of the total area of the Magao Grottoes. Yet the site is more original in 